19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is... The Darren Dilemma. Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a typical suburban living room. The kind you see all the time on TV. Can't you tell? So Ben said he saw your sister at the lingerie store with that guy. And he turned out to be shopping for himself. Should we tell Dan his cousin wears a bra? Yeah, let's let him sweat for a while. Maybe they'll babysit. <laughs> Rick. What? Shh, kiss me. They may be listening. They who? I don't know, but I feel like we're being watched. Don't worry about it, hon. We're not that interesting. Please tell me I'm adopted. Nope. You look just like your father did at your age. Don't say things like that. Give me a reason to live. He's got your nose. Okay, so he lucked out there. <gasps> there it is! What? Nothing. I'll go freshen up. Wanna join me? Huh? Come with me to the restroom. Why? Do I look like I'm holding a purse? <laughs> Please, Rick. This is a code, isn't it? All right, what is it, my breath or my feet? I'll smell you in the bathroom. Oh, will you? <laughs> so, doctor, where do we start the exam? Keep your shirt on, Rick. This is the only place I never hear them. Them again? What is it with you, Lacey? Don't you ever hear it? The laughter. Only my own. Come to think of it. It's been a long time since you laughed. It's been a long time since anything struck me as funny. You know, sometimes I think I hear something beyond the laughter. You're making yourself nuts, Lacey. Come here. You know I would never let anyone do anything to this family. That's just it, Rick. Are we a family? What? Mark doesn't actually look anything like either one of us, no matter what we say. And Trudy barely speaks English. She's a teenager. Her vocabulary consists of LOLs. That should have got some reaction. I think we're safe here, at least until they figure it out. Look, as much as I love bathroom time with you, and I do, if we're not getting it on, I got a game to watch. Okay. I didn't want to have to do this, Rick, but I have to prove there's something wrong here. What? Oh, you don't have one of those barcode tattoos, do you? Seriously, Rick. What do you do for a living? Same thing I've done for the entire 18 years of our marriage. And that is? Selling and installing bathroom fixtures. And your specialty? Oh, come on. Why in the world does this have anything to do with the price of tea in China? Tell me. Toilets. I sell toilets. That's why your mother hates it that you married me. Then why the hell is there no toilet in this bathroom? Huh? Shit. I don't know what's got into her. Must be that time of the month. I really don't... I... Huh? Or maybe... Maybe she's going through the change. I'm gonna call you back, Tony. Lacey? Yeah, hon? Oh, you're not gonna say you forgot our anniversary, are you? Of course not. Me? Never. I, I got a present right... <sighs> what the hell am I doing? I have to talk to you. Is it bad news? It's bathroom news. Ooh. Yeah. I heard it. You did? Oh, I'm not going crazy. You've been crazy for years, babe. Oh, God. It found us. Play along. I saw it run under the sink. Oh, uh, right. What do you think it was? Either a very small mouse or a very moldy cockroach. <laughs> Mark! Dinner! That kid. Yeah, he could go without a meal or two. Takes after his dad. Hey. What's for dinner? Mark? Mom, I hate it when you call me that. I'm completely past my tomboy face. What do you want to be called this week then, kiddo? Not kiddo, that's for sure. Save 
say something funny. <laughs> I can see my house from here. Careful. Don't want to get shingles. Okay. For the moment, anyway. What do we do? I don't know. I don't know. What the hell happened to Mark? Marky. Somehow we're the only ones who know she used to be our son. Are you even sure of that? Of what? That, well, that we even really had a son. I mean, do you remember her being in labor? I remember talking about being in labor a lot. Yeah, and I remember talking about avoiding being there a lot. Sorry about that. But what could be going on? Who are they? I don't know. They seem to think we're hilarious. No, really? Rick, are you going to sit on your butt in front of the TV all day? Come on, doll. I love this guy. He's hilarious. <laughs> Holy cow. No, Frick Quarry. I figured it out. We're in a show. Then that noise... They're laughing at us. But who are they? I don't know. Them. Someone out there who thinks we're funny. <laughs> that leaves everyone except your parents. Oh, God. They found us. Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Just stay calm. Read this. I'm trying to find out who it is that's watching us. Stay here, keep their attention. Don't read this out loud. Oh, shh. Lacey, why is this such a big deal? They're not hurting anyone. They're watching us. Let them. Come on, hon. Come here. No! How can you even consider getting romantic with them out there? Maybe you need to talk to someone. You're the only one I can trust. And I'm always here for you. But I think the best thing to do is just ignore them. You don't understand me at all. Women. <laughs> Lacey? Lacey? I'm not cutting elk. What's wrong? Is your toe stuck in the drain? No! Did someone paint the seat? Oh, wait. No toilet, no seat. Right. <laughs> what? What's wrong? You don't care. I just think it's more important to go on with our lives. Mm. <laughs> Lacey, they're here. You ready yet, babe? Kiss the bell. She'll be down in a moment. You know, women. Sorry, my zipper got stuck. Huh? Lacey? Either that or someone else is wearing my girdle. Lacey? Rick? You look so strange. Um, girdle? <laughs> Babe, if anyone doesn't need a girdle, it's you. Oh, someone's hoping to get some tonight. Oh, I'm going with my wife to see a musical, and you're only just figuring this out? Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. Tonight's episode, The Darren Dilemma, was written by Julie Hoverson. In it, Rick was Mark Olson, Lacey was Jackie Duckworth, Mark was Eli Nelson, Marky e was Crystal Baker, the replacement Lacey was Julie Hoverson, and a guest appearance on the television with Fred Quarry, a.k.a. Carl Cubbage. The music for this episode was courtesy of Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. The cover art for this episode was by Brett Coolstock. Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com and Sonomic.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com. That's 19nocturne. Or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. Or join us in the 19 Nocturne Boulevard Forum over at audiodramatalk.com. 
This presentation is copyright 2010 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions.